HYP is an abbreviation for HTML5 package. It's a content authoring tool which works with various LMSs and different types of publishing systems. All it needs is a browser and a site which supports HYP plugin. What we can do with HYP? With HYP, we can easily create and share rich HTML5 interactive content such as interactive videos where we can insert interactions between videos, various types of uh, quizzes, games and presentations, drag and drops which enriches the learning experience of the user. HYP is an open source tool. It's free to use and uh, which can be easily uh, created and edited and shared. Okay. And it is mobile friendly too. Moodle and H5P. In the latest versions of Moodle, H5P is integrated into Moodle code. So, this allows the teacher to add H5P content in any activity or a resource from the toolbar itself. There is a button at the end on the add to toolbar. When you click on that, you can browse for H5P activity and then you can insert that. From Moodle 3.9, there is a repository called Content Bank which is added and it can be accessed from your nav draw. When you click on that, you land in your course Content Bank repository. Content Bank is an area in Moodle where interactive content can be stored. These HYP activities can be edited and from this add button in the Content Bank, you can also create new content type and store. The content bank repository gives access to these files from the file picker option for the teacher to add these activities to course. What kind of activities we can create using H5P? The list is huge from interactive videos to course presentation, various gaming kind of activities like memory games, drag and drops, various quizzes like uh, multiple choice or single choice image sliders and uh, the way the content can be arranged in various column types and inside a presentation you can even add various interactivities like hotspots. So like this the list really huge more than 30 varieties of HYP content types you can create. In the next page the content types are presented in a periodic table like this. It's a periodic table kind of a structure where all the blue color content types which can be used to just to present images and text and the green color content types are to present content and as a task to engage learner. These yellow ones are to present only assessment tasks. These orange highlighted ones are content with tasks. That means various tasks can be included while presenting the content. and. Uh, these uh, pink shade ones are audio based content types and the one below uh, without a color this is a branching scenario this is still in a beta version and when you go to the next page you will see all these uh, content types with a small plus sign on them like a small interaction element is added a pink circle with a plus sign. When you click on each plus sign on these content types, you will see details about that particular content type, either a tutorial video or a link to a tutorial for that content type. So you can click on each these buttons and see the details.